Tabletop CP, and today we return to Bergville Gap for some ACW Sharp Practice. So it's great to be back in Bergville Gap. It's been quite a while since we've done uh, ACW game of Sharp Practice. So we're going to be breaking out the uh, early war stuff, 1861. It's going to be um, 11th New York versus Stonewall Brigade. And we're going to have a house rule uh, in this game. As if you watch this channel, you're well aware we're not fans of the 48 inch ranges on the rifled muskets with the one one action reload. Too much shooting, too far. Uh, we've had games where we pretty much just stood stationary at our deployment point and blasted away across the whole board. So we're going to reduce the rifled musket ranges to 36 inches just to give us a little bit more room to maneuver and make it a little bit more interesting game. So starting out, uh, we'll talk about our mat. This is the Muddy Plains mat by uh, Geek Villain. Uh, it's a great mat. It uh, gives a very kind of wet, spring, springy look. Uh, so check out the description if you want to get one of these for yourself. The terrain uh, for today's game. we got a lot of the snake rail fencing. This is going to be light cover and a minor obstacle. So TD6 remove the lowest if you're trying to cross it. All the buildings are going to be soft cover. And we have an orchard here. Six inch visibility, soft cover. And we have a few clumps of line of sight blocking trees scattered around the board as well. And then the roads are uh, road rules. And another house rule, I guess I should mention in case I don't during the game. If you're in column on open ground, not on a road, you roll uh, 3d6, pick the two highest, just to give being in column off a road, you know, some kind of advantage. The mission we're playing today is uh, mission six from the rule book, rescue mission. So we've done this one before, it's a lot of fun. And we're gonna have an attacker and a defender so the attacker is going to be trying to rescue a hostage. So we'll roll off and the attacker will decide wh where his primary deployment point is going to be. It's going to be either in the center of this table half or center of that table half. Uh, he'll then roll to see which building the prisoner is in. And then he will put a deployment point within six inches of that building. So he can start deploying from that one or his primary deployment point over here, which is also going to be his exit zone as the objective is to get the prisoner out of the building and off the board edge. So the defending player is gonna have a unit with the prisoner in the building, a level one leader, probably a group of skirmishers or something, possibly a group of line troops, depending on what the defender wants to put in there. Uh, they will then roll to see where their primary deployment point is gonna be, which is either in the center of this long board edge or the center of that long board edge. And they will be delayed coming in, so they will only come in one unit per turn. So they're going to be trickling in. That'll give the defender or the attackers a chance to get the guy or the prisoner uh, off the board, or at least get them out of the building and then off of the board. Uh, the attacker, he's going to have to um, be careful about how he deploys. He doesn't want to put everything around the target building because then the defender could just go capture his escape route. So he's going to have to deploy some out there along his escape edge and some around the building, uh, just depending on how he thinks he's uh, best able to defend his escape route and get the prisoner. So that's the mission. Let's look at the forces. Starting off here with the Stonewall Brigade. So these are taken from the rule book. They have several pre-made formations in the book. This is the 1861 formation. And it's gonna be commanded by level two leader, Major Dan Klain. And he is gonna be in command of three groups of, uh, I guess they're conscripts and volunteers. Uh, they're armed with muskets, so they're only going to have muskets. They're going to have very short range. They do have buck and ball, however, which gives them a plus one if they are within close range. Uh, they also have rebel yell, so during the leader's activation, if you play two cards, they can fire a volley if loaded and charge with 3d6 of movement, which is uh, pretty good. Next, we're going to have two groups of um, rifle, rifle the musket armed troops. They're going to be commanded by Captain Ryan Horton. He's a level two. I guess I should say both these guys are level two leaders. Um, and they have uh, Rebel Yell as well. And then we're also gonna have one group of skirmishers. They have sharp practice, rifled muskets, commanded by level one Lieutenant Bill Barksdale. And we agreed that we would each bring one additional unit of our choice. And I decided I would bring the 12 pounder, which will be running as a light cannon in this one. And it's gonna be commanded by Sergeant Alfred Wallace, who's here in the uh, white hat. This is the prisoner, ignore her. We'll have to decide who's gonna be attacking, who's defending, but Delilah will be the objective to uh, rescue 
and get off the board for whoever happens to be the attacker. So now let's go take a look at the Union forces. We have the 11th New York. I'll just let Johnny go over who he's got here. Yeah, I got uh, Colonel Elmer Ellsworth. He's over here. Uh, these guys, this is very, very, very early war. Because <laughs> in, in real life, he died. He was the first Union officer who died in the war. Yeah, so <laughs> the earliest he could possibly get. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he's leading a group of, what is it? I forget in sharp practice. Three, three rifled muskets, conf sconce grips, and volunteers. And we have a Corporal Finn back there um, as his level one corporal, helping him out with the group. Uh, we have Captain Morris leading two more groups of conscript uh, rifled muskets. And I'm saying rifled muskets because Travis, in early war, he has a group of guys with just muskets. Yeah. So. Uh, and then we have Sergeant Bueller uh, leading some uh, Zouave skirmishers. Um, and then I've brought uh, Captain Buford leading uh, eight cavalry. And then if they dismount, you can be skirmishing here with the horse holders. Uh, that's my force, so we'll see if we can get Delilah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going to be the attacker. I'm going to be the defender. Well, we'll go over that all that right now. Yeah, so as far as attacker defender, like I just said, Johnny's attacking. So I placed Barksdale in the building there with Delilah. That was the randomly chosen building that she's in. He wound up having his primary there. I wanted to have, a, have my primary on the same side. And then he placed his uh, one near the building right in the crossroads there. And force morale, I'm at 10. Johnny's at 11. Force support, I am bringing a holy man, a musician, and a physic. And then I'm making uh, Major Dan a level 3 leader. And Johnny has bumped Captain Morris up to a level 2 from a level 1. And he's added a, a leader, so he's going to have 5 leaders to my 4. And that was a... Uh, Corporal, Corporal Finn, Finn yeah. who's going to help out uh, the big man, Colonel Elmer Ellsworth, with this three-group formation. And I think that'll do it, so let's get started. All right, we're ready to start, so Johnny will be the card guy. Yep, I am blue for Union, uh, and let's see what's wrong. Starting off with uh, blue, blue leader, leader two, two, which is Captain Morris. Captain Morris. Right. So this thing. Johnny has uh, deployed Captain or. Yeah, Captain Morris, yeah, right Captain there in the Morris. crossroads. He's going to unload, so he gets one present, and he gets first fire, close yeah. range, and even twos. Even twos. Eighteen shots into Barksdale. Yeah, this could be really good. If it's not, I'm in trouble. Uh, see, it's some one, quite a few. See. Look at all those ones. Yeah, that's a lot of ones. That's actually yeah. not great, right? That's that's a lot of ones. That's the only in my hand. Seven. <laughs> that's not so this is three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, uh, that's not great. It's eleven hits. It's anything but. Uh, it is. Uh, oh, I rolled these. Say, yeah, yeah, I rolled these. I haven't played it so long. It's been a long time yeah. for him, so I'll have to remember them <laughs> for both of us. Anyway, I'm in hardcover because it's skirmishers in hardcover. Split. Five fives and sixes. Oh, she got two shock and one dead. Okay. Could it be the wow? Leader? It could not be the leader. Could not be the leader. Because no, it has to be it's, under. It's got to be under. See? Yeah, so that was uh, not a great roll. No. Not a great roll by you, but a great roll by me. And then two shock. Two shock. Yep. And I mean, on a, is he level one? Barksdale? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah. One. That's, you know, every little bit helps. Right? Yeah, oh, totally. Okay, so there's that. So we'll move on to the next card. Next card. I'll put some smoke there. Uh, you're level four, which is your cannon. My cannon. <laughs> I don't think I want to bring my cannon in. Okay. Uh, I could bring him in here. He would not have anything to shoot at, so I'll He's wait to bring the cannon He's in. Hold off. Yep. All right, next one then. Mm -hmm. uh, you're big man. I probably will bring my big man in. <laughs> so Major Clayne's gonna gonna deploy. Major Dan has come out. Um, couldn't quite. Get within six. So we're just going to say he snapped the guy in for free, whatever. But there they are. Uh, they've deployed. And we've got some decent line of sight blocking cover here. Um, I am worried about the skirmishers, though, coming around my flank. <laughs> I, I, I'm like a skirmisher aficionado here in this game. And only having one and not even being able to use them because he's in that building is going to be tough for me. So anyway, next card. Next card. I do man. Okay, that's the uh, uh, Elmer Ellsworth. Elmer Ellsworth. Colonel Ellsworth uh, deployed in column there mm -hmm. from his primary deployment point. Uh, next card. So I can't deploy anything else. I can only come in one 
one per turn. Oh, really? All right. Cool. So the only thing I can do is if I get Barksdale. So uh, blue four? four is Buford. That's the cavalry. That's the cavalry. So I then Buford is uh, deployed from the crossroads deployment point. Twelve inch uh, deployment point for dragoons. Um, and I guess I should also mention real quick. We're both bringing the car. I don't know if I mentioned this. We're both bringing colors, but just for looks. We didn't pay for them. We yeah. just like the way it looks. So next card. Yeah. Yeah, Buford's not going to shoot or anything. Uh, flag. Blue flag. Blue flag. Leader five for me, which is just Corporal, Corporal Finn. Finn, which is nothing. So he's with the big group formation. He's with the big group, so I'm hoping for a Tiffin here. Red flag. Red flag. Is, that's good. Red two flag. Red flags. So it's two in a row. Three that's in a row. Three in a row. So the last person that did anything was that was these guys. They shot. So yeah. we'll roll up on the uh, random event table for those guys. The bad thing is a pall of smoke. So in between these two positions, there's the smoke is hanging around, so it's minus one to hit yeah. uh, anything through there. So then, uh, yeah, next card. Next card. Wow. Three flags, so if I can pray, be greedy, and get that fourth one. Or you could bring in your skirmishers. I can bring in my skirmishers, which would mean everything's on the table. Um, yeah. Which would not be good for me. No. <laughs> uh, let's get greedy. All right. Going for the oh. flag. Oh, I can't really do anything. Oh, because you, you only have the... See, I hope I get his card because I can pull the two shock. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but if I don't get him, I'll still be able to activate the group, just not... Sure. Okay, just keep going, I guess. Right. I can't bring anything else in. Leader three. So that's, that's your... Oh, that's burn shell. Perfect. Right. Okay, so I'm going to use two of those to pull the two shock. All right. And that's it. And then... now I've So I bumped him up to a level three leader. So he can still do... Isn't that guy level three? Who? Your major? Yeah. So who's... This guy's level three. But yeah, you can use cards to bump up the level oh, like, it, during that oh, activation. You so you're using two of these cards. Yeah, using two of those to make him a level three. So using two of those three. to get rid of the two shock, and then I'll figure out what I want to do with it. Sure. Him. So after Barksdale uh, pulled the shock, we got five guys left. So we're gonna fire. We got three windows in the front of that building. We're gonna fire at Buford. Mm -hmm. So Barksdale is level three now. So I get five guys out the windows plus Barksdale's three. I could have shot here, but. I guess the pall of smoke would have been, it would have made it the same as being long range, probably. Well, you would have been close range, so that's a four, then it would have been fours no matter what. But I would have not got the uh, plus one for being skirmishers at long range. No, but you would have got <laughs> the close range, so four, and then yeah. plus one, minus, it's the same, it would have been fours no matter I'll what. I'll still fire at these guys. Sure. Uh, so needing, what I say, fours? Yeah. One, Ooh. two... Two. Only three hits. Not three, okay. Yep. So um, I guess we'll give you soft cover because you're behind the fence there. Yeah, that was the, that was the goal there. I'll see. So, so looking for four pluses and all low, low, right? All low. One, one point of shot. shot. Right, That's I can, all I can live with that. No problem. Uh, and then we'll reload. Yeah. So next card. Next card. All right. So I'm. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. You got it. You got the fourth got flag. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I was about to burn. I was like, fuck, screw it. I'm just going to bring him in. No. No. Um, so that means you can activate something again. So yeah. I we'll might. We'll see what he, uh, yeah, what he I mean, decides. Maybe I'll just shoot again. That doesn't seem that great, though. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So he's decided to reactivate uh, Ellsworth's boys, mm -hmm. and they've moved up in column 11 inches. Mm hmm. Pretty good move. So yeah, they're uh, they're right there. <laughs> I was thinking, am I gonna get to use buck and ball? I might, or I might not if I get a flank shot. Yeah, well you could. So next one, leader two. Two. I can't do anything else. All right, so I'll just burn. Yeah, that's Horton. That's Tiffin there. So. Tiffin. All right. So that's uh, the end of turn one. Hey, this guy. Oh, he's next. There's a lot next card. But oh, your skirmishers. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad they didn't come in actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm already surrounded. So all right, we'll move on to the next turn. Starting from turn two. Before we start, I do. I should have to say that I mentioned at the beginning that we both picked a unit of choice to bring in. So Johnny brought these guys in. They're 13 points. So that means that I've upgraded that 12 pounder to a medium gun just mm -hmm. to try to keep the points somewhat even. Yeah. Well, I think you still have the bonus anyway. Your guys cost more, right? A little bit more. Uh. 
just a tiny bit. Oh, Maybe. But, but they know. only have muskets, right? So. Yeah. Although, again, we mentioned it probably doesn't matter in this scenario. Yeah, in in this much. particular scenario, yeah, we're pretty close already. Yeah. <laughs> All right, leader four, that is my cavalry. Buford. Okay. All right, got it. Buford has dismounted. Mm -hmm. John has decided it's going to be too hard to move uh, cavalry. I'll pull the shock with his other command or whatever. Yeah, two. Yeah, level two leader. So we pulled the shock, they dismounted, and the horse holders are over here. And then he's going to fire into the building. We're saying Delilah just can't be it. Just, yeah. It's too hard to keep track of. We're covering her. Yeah. She's hiding in the cellar. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that makes more sense. Just yeah. put her in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, uh, All right, need threes. Need threes. Uh, that was oh. almost as good as my 18-man hits. hits. Yeah, that's a lot of hits. That's, uh, seven. Seven hits. Seven out of eight. That's okay, hard nice. cover. Come on. Yeah. You'll let these cavalry boys take us down. Oh, no. oh, a couple of shocks. Another dead. Another dead. And oh, two more shocks. Down. So I think these guys could take down Barksdale because they're skirmishers, right? Well, and you're down to. It's not him, though. Yeah. So another dude dead. dead and two shocks. It's starting to whittle away at them a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these skirmish units, once they start taking a couple of casualties, they're in trouble. Yeah. Especially right. with the level ones, right? Yep. All right. Next, uh, card. next, next card here. Oh, your two, your big, your second. Ah, that's Horton. Man, I just where am I gonna put him? <laughs> uh, I got like nowhere to put anybody at this point. I mean, you could put them probably directly in front of, or right behind, or, or directly <laughs> behind them. Yeah. All right, let me think about it. I just brought Horton in. The only place I could fit him was behind Plains guys. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I could make a what six group formation and just march around. But I got units on both sides so if if I did that and turned I would just get lit up flank shot so I'll just keep them separate so next card uh, level two that's Captain Morris there so they'll just so load Morris and fire. again so they'll just stay unloaded and fire theirs okay uh, so now they will be they will now be uncontrolled, uncontrolled. Yeah. okay all right Morris uh, firing an uncontrolled volley yeah. now need force need force Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits is not bad. I'll take it. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I think I beat it. Messed up during the move. Uh, what do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need two more dice. Okay, hard cover. Come on, guys. More shock. On two more dead. Oh, oh, no man. shock? No shock. That's... I'm not gonna be anyone left. It's not. It's not <laughs> Barksdale not though. <laughs> but I'm down four guys now. With two shock. With two shock. Yeah. How many guys are in there? Oh, just two left. There's only two left. Yeah. These guys are very brave. I would have ran away by now for sure. Barksdale's not gonna let him run off. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess <laughs> he's got yeah. a job to do. They got a brave. They got to be brave with a girl there, right? Yeah. So the next card. The next card. Uh, red flag. Okay. Uh, my big man. Oh boy. That's <laughs> uh, not, not great for you. It's not good for me at all. Uh, so that's these guys here, so yeah. let's see what they do. So Johnny has just uh, moved up in column, mm -hmm. and then he used uh, his last command just to snap one unit in. So he's kind of in the process of getting in the line at the moment. It's early war. They don't, they don't know what they're doing. So. Yeah, they've uh, only drilled like one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uniforms are very clean. Uh, yeah, they look good. You're level three. Which is the skirmisher? No, that's not yeah, it is. It's Barksdale yeah. with his what? Two guys? Two shot, two guys. <laughs> and I give you have a flag. Yeah. Do you have a flag? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Maybe I don't know what to do with him. Let me think about it. I used the flag to um, make Barksdale level two. Pull the shock, and then just ran out of the building. Yeah, we're not going to st stick around in the building anymore. <laughs> so next card. All right, next card. Uh, level uh, leader four, uh, which you can't bring in anyway, right? Because yeah, I already brought something in this turn. So, so I need I need my big man. I want to do man. anything? My three, which is my skirmishers. Uh oh. So that's not good for you. No, it's not. Sergeant Bueller has uh, deployed, so I'm within twelve, or I'm within distance of his deployment point. So he has to be twelve away from me. Yeah. So instead of being able to deploy right here, he said got to deploy back there. We're, we're putting the guy back because uh, we forgot about the pall of smoke. Yeah, 
Um, should have been fives to hit yeah. with uh, Morris. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put one guy back. To, we don't, you know, we're not going to go back and redo it. But anyway, so Buford is now on the table over there, and he's going to take a shot. I should have named him differently because Bueller and Buford are going to get confusing real quick. Bueller, Bueller. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, so you're getting what? Seven shots? Uh, just seven. Um, normally we need threes. Um, no, you need. So you're over twelve. So five goes to fours. Because I'm over 12. Plus your skirmishers. Skirmishers. So and then first fire. First fire. So I think it's it's a three, I think. Right I think now. so, yeah. Because normally I would be need a five, but I get plus one, so that goes down to a four. Yep. And you I got rifle and three. Space. But you're in soft cover, or maybe even. Uh, I'll be in soft cover, yeah, because I'm in the open as yeah. skirmishers. All right, we're going to the room. That's right here. Yeah. All right, so I'm looking for threes. Uh, not great. Uh, looks like. Three? Four hits. Four hits. Yeah. I'll take it. Well, all right. Four light hits cover this time. Um, <laughs> light cover. Yeah. Uh, po one point of shock. Right, so I'm up to two shock now. But you got three guys, so. Yeah, I'm not going to fall back yet. No. And they'll just uh, reload. So. Okay, reloading. All right, next card. Next card. That's pretty much all my stuff. So I'm hoping for. Oh, there's your big man. Okay, perfect. All right, so uh, Major Dan. What the hell are you going to do? He's a level three. So he's got some options here. Let's see what he does. Major Dan, a little, little bit of uh, trickery here. He's had one one group that was on the other side of the fence kind of break off, move off on its own. There's no leader with him. But if he stays within command range, he can still command them when his card comes. So they moved up a D6. I guess I could... Uh, I could take a shot at your... Um, yeah, you could. At your cavalry over there, because I only moved one d6. Yeah, it, that's gonna be a long. These guys only have muskets, so that would be long range, probably just eyeballing it. Yeah, long definitely range. long range. If I'm, if I'm even in range. No, nah, you definitely. That's with the musket range is 24, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're you're, you're just out. Okay. I'm gonna say you're outside of 12, but I could be wrong. And then I uh, had Dan okay. just had the other two groups wheel towards the Zwabs coming from this side. Hell of a, he, he rolled a six for their move and a double six for the wheel. So I'm able to get both ways. I got mm -hmm. blue bellies coming in from every side here. So I will take a shot uh, with these guys over at the uh, at Buford right. cab over there. All right, here we go. Needing fives on, uh, on the Buford's boys over there. Oh, shit. What's that? Three, Three hits. All right. Probably hard cover, though. Yeah, because I think. Yeah, the fence and the barn and everything. And plus the skirmishers. Oh, uh, I got a kill on something cocked here. A dead. So dead. Okay. Uh, you don't have to check. Buford, right? Nope. Okay. That's so just a dead. Pretty good. <laughs> just a dead. We'll take yeah. it. Yeah. And then they'll be unloaded. Yep. And next card. I'll get some smoke for him in a second. Uh, next card here. That's Tiffin. Tiffin. And no one has any cards. I don't out. have any flags or anything. So. Okay. All right. So that decent turn for pretty good for you. The revs. Yeah. So we're going to the next all these turn. flags under here. <laughs> yeah, they're all in one pile. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll be back. First card. First card. Red flag. Awesome. Leader two. Ah, uh, that's Horton. So that's guys back in the back there, which is that's actually really good. So we'll move those dudes. Horton, they just did a right face and kind of advanced up behind these trees here. So suddenly, these guys are the ones that are. Feeling surrounded. Yeah, potentially. And I got potentially, it. but he's still got the card in the deck. So Thanks, card. Has a blue flag. Okay. And then leader four, which is my Buford. Uh, that's, yeah, the dismounted Dragoons, Dragoons over there. We've had uh, Buford's moved up. Mm -hmm. Stop short of going in front of the uncontrolled Zwabs, firing un uncontrollably yeah. at the building still. Yeah. But he's going to fire through here. And flank shot on those guys. Hopefully, but I need fives because this pall of smoke is still here, which we forgot last time. So, over here. Remember this time. Uh, just two. Two hits. Soft cover. Soft cover. As you're... Ah, oh, two oh, point, four points a shot. Four points a shot. That might break them. With three guys? What is the... I'm at two. Oh, well, I guess yeah. it's six. Right? Yeah, because it's rear shot. Yeah. So I have four guys with six shock. So really, you need eight eight shock on me to break me, but I will fall back uncontrollably. 
So I got to take a bad thing for that, and I do minus one. So that drops me down to nine on my force morale, and then they're going to fall back. The uh, skirmishers, Sparksdale and his boys, fell back four inches over mm -hmm. the fence. They're two away from breaking. Yeah, but I don't, it doesn't look like I can really do much about that. All right. I guess I can do what you did and try to... If I can get them under control, I can try to send a unit. Well, you still got these guys. Yeah. So they can just... You're going to have to cut them off because they're going to... Yeah, no. All right. Next. Run and hide. So yeah. Next card. So it's a flag. Um, flag. Three, which is those guys. Bueller. Bueller. Sergeant Bueller. Okay, let's see what they do next. Yeah, the Zwabs have left the fence. Mm -hmm. And with their... So that was... I guess you get one action left. Yeah, just gonna fire. Fire and be unloaded. Be unloaded. Everyone's just even fours though onto the Barksdale. Going wild, so one Ooh, hit. One hit. All right, come on, <laughs> that's, soft cover. Yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> if I can take a shock here, it's Barksdale's broken. I don't. No. All right. Well. Whew. All right. Yeah, not good for the the old. That was that actually shooting them with cavalry might have been a mistake. At I least should, you're unloaded. <laughs> yeah, the, now that you're going, because you're going away from me, so that's actually better for you with this big church on the way. Yeah, so. I'm going to have to hide out. So next, next card. Uh, leader one, that's my big man. Oh boy, yeah. that's these guys. Okay, yeah. we'll see what they do. He just snapped these guys in, mm -hmm. and they're just going to fire a presented volley. So one one command to snap, yeah. and present, and fire. Yep. 27 shots straight ahead, hitting everything in his path. Yeah. Hitting threes. Is that all 27 dice? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll count them up. Yeah. So there's the hits. Um, so we'll just start here, over here, in the open. Yeah. So we got a dead and a shock. Pretty good, actually. It's yeah, for those guys. Yeah. Uh, this was going to be these guys over here. They probably get soft covers and shooting through their own guys, right? Yeah, plus, plus the fence. The fence yeah. So. Oh man, that's but it's four shock and a dead, because they're getting hit in the flank. Yeah. And then this other group here. Nah, just a lot of shock. Over four there. shock. Yeah. It's not that bad. To be so a dead here. A dead here. Four shock. Four a shock. shock. Four shock. Yeah. All right, there we go. So yeah, only two dead out of that, but a bunch of shock. Yeah. I do have a holdy man though, yeah, you do. but I'm one flag and one level one red card or leader red one from a rebel yell. <laughs> yeah, well, Let's see what happens. Come at me too. Three, so I have three flags. I could activate another unit. I'll hold off for now. Oh, oh no! There's the tiffin. That's not good. That's not what I wanted to see. So you have one flag, so. Does a person with more force morale go? Person with more flags and more force morale. Okay. So you go. You're you're gonna go first. Okay. I just move Barksdale. Um, use my one flag. He only got a five inch move. I rolled two. I'll use his free action. Just turn around. Um, if I get another rear shot, then I'm done for. Oh yeah. So next, uh, our first card. First card of the turn here. Red flag. Good for you. Yeah. Keep them coming. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the the end came out okay. You got one flag to do whatever you want with, so. Mm, okay. So Horton, he just, uh, they all did left face and wheeled up and moved, wheeled up like four and then moved up two inches into the wood line here. And then he'll snap them back together. Um, all right. Next card. Blue flag. Blue flag this time, all right. Blue five. That's uh, Corporal Finn. Corporal Finn. He's over here with these guys, right? Yeah, you can't do that. There anything. he is. <laughs> yeah. um, and he, to detach, he has to be ordered to detach anyway. Right? Yeah, you so, have the big yeah, man. So has to, to nothing for now. Oh, <laughs> the Tiffin. But I did get a blue flag. He did. So I'm just going to order those guys to fire again. To so reload and fire? Reload and fire. So they'll be unloaded okay. and uncontrolled. Right? So it'll be sixes? Or no, fives. Because you're rifle and muskets. Yeah. Oh, and uh, uncontrolled volley and needs fives. fives. Uh, All right, looks like a lot. We'll count them up. Three, starting here. It's a dead and a shock. These guys here. Just, uh, just a shock. Know. And these boys back here. A dead. dead and two shock. Ooh. So they're up to six shock already back six, over here. Six guys left. 
Uh, with uh, seven guys left. Well, they just took a dead, right? Oh, yeah. Another dead. Yeah. So there's a dead here. At, uh... <laughs> and then it was a shock here. We have to bring the holy man in over here now. Yeah. And then it was a shock here. So they're up to five. Okay, I'll take that. All right, so the Zwavs, have, uh, they're do they've done their thing. For now. For now. Hopefully they don't get another card. <laughs> I put the one on top, so. All right. And I'll let you cut it. So The red can, one so is we, on top. So we can Thank avoid, you. <laughs> so we can avoid Tempest. If we get a tiff in, then that's, I, I'll let you shuffle because I'm just going on. All right, blue flag. <laughs> Not a tiffin. Not a tiffin. There's your red three, which is your Barksdale. Barksdale. My cannon still is off. It still hasn't come on the board. All right, so Barksdale. We'll see what he's gonna do. Barksdale advanced back two d six. Got a six inch move. Turned around. So he's just in the corner of that uh, field there. Yeah. All right. Next. Next, next card. Red flag for you. Okay. Come on, red one or no red flag and then red one. That's two flags in a row. Uh oh. Mod leader four, which is Buford. Buford and the Dragoons. Dragoons, these guys over here. So Buford has uh, just advanced up. He's going to fire and reload at these guys. Yep. Even no, fire. they're just going to... They were unloaded, so they're, they're just going to fire. Load and fire. Load and fire. So they'll still be unloaded, okay. I guess. Uh, needing fours. All right, this is a hit. I can't see the other one. There's a five right there. Okay. So four hits, looks like. Four hits. Not bad. In the open. In the open. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Come on, guys, you can do it. Uh, we took uh, three shock, three more shock. Mm -hmm. Man, so we're at nine shock now. <laughs> six guys? Yeah, they're going to have to fall back. What, three inches? Uh, it's one. One per extra. Let me look here. So they're just back there. I'll do a bad thing for that. It's another another minus one for me, so I'm at eight. Regular or conscripts and volunteers go back two inches per excess point of shock. Oh, which means I probably went off the table then. I would have went off the to, table. You're either at the edge or off. Uh, I'll let you decide where you were. No, I'd be off because I was right here. Two mm -hmm. inches per excess at six. Yeah. And yeah. You have nine, so that's six inches. Yeah. I'll let you choose whether that's. They're off the table. Not. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that, but... So that's probably another bad thing, right? Group or unit. We'll check it out. Yeah. So they were uh, forced off the table. Uh, they're in voluntary withdrawal, reach the table edge, and we're just, we'll just roll on the group breaks table, I guess, for an extra bad thing. A five. Oh, that's always good, right? <laughs> well, Minus two more. <laughs> I'm down to six. High is bad in this game for that roll, right? That's, yeah. Okay. High is bad. Right. Okay, well, next card then. Yeah, that's, that was uh, not. That was very fortunate for me. I was just trying to put shock on them. I didn't. Wasn't trying to get them off the table, but just trying to make them ineffective, which I guess yeah. they're not they're very ineffective. <laughs> <laughs> There's a tiffin, unfortunately. Oh man. Uh, you have a flag. I have a flag. I, have, I didn't. I got a level three. You got a level three. That was just Barksdale. Was so you go three. first because you okay. have more flags. First thing that happened was um, Bueller just. Activated first off the flag, moved down along the uh, fence line, trying to get uh, Barksdale in. Did not give a great move. No. I'm next, and I'm going to have Horton fire his boys straight ahead into these guys. So it'll be a twos, buck and ball. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, it's a, basically it's wasting a present. I only can present on the first fire. So I'll present anyway, just that way I'm not uncontrolled if, if I want to move. A buck and ball will make it. Uh, but then you'll be unloaded. But then I'll be un. Yeah. So it's really, do you want to be uncontrolled or unloaded? Uh, yeah, it's up to you. That's true. Um, you're right. I won't present. I will fire and reload. Yeah. Good yeah. call. I mean, you have your leader there, so you can. You should be able to get. Yeah, I got the plus one, I think, because he's he's. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. We'll yeah. So uh, twos with the buck and ball yeah. straight ahead. Soft cover, I'm shooting through the trees and everything. Oh, really good. Uh, I think I only missed one. Is that 15 hits? <laughs> 15 <laughs> hits. It makes it easy for me. It's five on each. So. <laughs> no, you got three groups there. Uh, yeah, right. 
So five. Oh yeah, five I'm sorry. Inch, yeah, five. five you're right. Me, do my math right. Don't listen here. to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, guys. I went to college and I studied history. I can't do that. So. <laughs> All right, let's start over here with these All right, guys. So that's got a potential leader wound if it happens. So that's uh, Finn's group. Yeah. Uh, light cover. Corporal Finn. Looks like we take a shock and a casualty, so it can't be Finn. Can't be Finn. All right, Just middle group with the big group. man. Looks like two shock. Two shock. Okay. And then last group here. Uh, dead shock and two and, shock. I'll re-roll that. A a dead and two shock. To, uh, no, just... Oh, light cover, right. Yeah, yeah you're right. So two shock and dead. All right. All right. Well, worse. So now he's going to reload and fire another uncontrolled volley. This time I'm only needing fours because this group is in the arc. So it's going to be split in between these three now. Yeah. Those guys sadly are, are gone. <laughs> so they can't split to them anymore. We're needing fours here. Needing fours. Wow. Uh, I don't see a lot of two. I see a yeah. lot of sub fours. Let's, uh, yeah. let's split I'll them up. up. Twelve hits. We'll start over here with uh, Major Dan's group. Uh, four, four shock. shock. Oh my Ooh. god. These guys. Major four. Dan's card has not come out in a long time. What no, Travis? This guy here. <laughs> uh, it's two shock. So they, they actually got off light. Yeah. Yeah, those guys have light cover. And then these guys in the woods here from Wharton's boys. Nothing. Nothing. Talk about getting off light. Uh, so, yeah. Four more shock here gives them nine. So they have to withdraw, right? Nope. Because they have oh, Major Dan with them. Yeah, so they're holding steady. Okay. These guys are going to be at now at four. All right, where's I need that one so, yeah, so I can bring the holy man in. Okay, and I think that's all the post tip yeah, and activity. Post -tip and activity. So we move on to the next turn. First card. There's a blue five. Blue five. Corporal, Corporal Finn. Finn. Oh, he can move he a shot. Yeah, I'll take a shock off the group he's not with because that would. Can he take off any of them? Yeah. So we'll just dump yeah. off these guys that took a casualty. Yeah. Hey, you on the end. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being Get scared. it together. Yeah. <laughs> there. Ah, nice. hey, finally. Major Dan. There you go. Uh, the, so I'm definitely going to be bringing in my holy man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, Major Dan. It's time to. Uh, it's time to fire back. We're going to start off with the holy man. So this is our holy man. He's bringing in a cask of beers. Whiskey, right, your rebels. Whiskey. Yeah. Tennessee whiskey. Yeah. And how many can we pull off? Oh, oh yes. A classic. It's got to be the holy. One. It's got to be. <laughs> Never fails. Never fails. That's Look, why I didn't bring him, man. I feel like every time I bring him, I roll one. I'm like, why did I bring you? I do have one extra command with Dan. So Dan's going to have them fire, them fire. He's a level three, so I'll just pull another one off. Sure. So now I'm down to seven. Okay. Um, now every, now I'll count up the dice, and we're going to fire everything into these swabs here. Mm -hmm. Off with Major Dan's group. Uh, we, we haven't fired yet, so we're going to present first fire. And when all's said and done, we're down to 12 dice. Straight ahead. Fours. fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hits split up three ways. So I am in cover, so I get to put the third. Sh I'll put it on the non. Yeah, so these guys aren't in cover. But I think oh, one group. They aren't. You're right. So I'll put two here and I'll put three here then. Okay. Because I prefer that those guys to take the, the brunt of it. Okay. Um, so these guys in the open on the end there. A dead and a shock. Okay. Uh, these guys in the middle in the open, just shock. a shock, and then these guys with light cover, two, two shocks shock still, jeez, alright, well, that's actually pretty good. So, so then a shock, shock, two shock. Now Dan is going to order Horton's Those guys boys to fire, well, right? yeah, they're going to be unloaded, but in control. <clears throat> yep. Horton's boys are going to get 16 shots, uh, buck and ball, oh no, I'm sorry, these guys don't have buck and ball. They have, uh, rifle uh, rifle. yes, yeah, these guys had. Oh well, oh, whatever. So fours, <laughs> all right. fours to shoot. Uh, fours straight ahead into yeah. the into the clowns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's pretty good. So it's not bad. Three on each. So I'll start with these guys here. Yep. Um, Dead in a shock. Yes, yeah, still uh, shock. I think two shock. Oh, these guys are you're flying through the woods. Though, oh right? yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. so, so then, just a dead. Okay, and then so these guys, guys here, just another dead. And last guys, 
Uh, they're, they're dead. dead. These guys so are taking a pounding here. Three total dead. Yeah, no shock. Just deads. Just he deads. Just killed a lot of guys. Yep. These guys, could it potentially be him now? No, because it's only one each. No. And then one of these boys. I took one of these guys off already. There, so we're starting to whittle those wobs down a little bit. Yeah. But they've definitely gotten off more volleys than we have. Yeah. Of course, we might be tight now. Yeah. From the number of shock, though, I got still seven shock over here with my... You've killed... And you've killed quite a few. <laughs> you've killed six of them. Yeah, my dead pile is a whole lot bigger. <laughs> you lost. I mean, you lost an entire group. So oh, I can't complain. But that's true. One of my groups yeah. ran off the table. All right, next card. Right, next card. There's a flag for me. Leader four, which is my uh, Buford, Buford the dragoons. All right. Yeah, this is a problem because I have no. Yeah. See, normally when I play this and I make my own list, I always bring two skirmishers, so I always have a skirmisher on my flank. But yeah. I should have brought the. You know, I was going to bring another skirmisher instead of the cannon. <laughs> you still have the cannon. Yeah. I still have the cannon. He hasn't no, done anything. 1d6, which is 6. So it should get me. We're just going to move to get something like that. And then we'll just shoot at those yeah. guys. Yeah, see, now I'm screwed. Well, I'm covered. Yeah, because I'm going to be getting uh, uh, side shot. I'm actually risking myself because if I put them there. Oh, and they fire? I yeah. have to stay. Yeah, they, <laughs> Morris me. is still blasting. Yeah, away. and I haven't been able to get them under control. So actually, pro it's going to be long range. Right? There's zealots. <laughs> they want to fire. 19 inches. What is that? I think uh, that's five. Effective. So fives goes down to fours because of skirmishers. Fives down to fours. Yeah. So uh, six dice. Yep. Or five dice plus two because of Buford. All right. So they are still unloaded. Where am I rolling these babies? Shooting you in the side, hopefully. Oh yeah, definitely hit me in the side. Only two hits, it looks like? Three hits. Oh, three, because it's fours right now. So three hits, so... Uh, so I'll put two on them and one on the guys sure. next to them, so... I had shock, a dead and two shock, and then over here, Just two shock. shock. Uh -huh. So let's see if it happens to be the big man. It's not, thank God. But we do go up to nine shock here. And a dead. And a dead. And then we go up two more here to six. Right. So we're at nine with nine, well, ten with the holy man. <laughs> so we're still not uh, still not falling back in voluntarily. That's right, he's the holy man. Right? <laughs> the holy man is, is there with his cake. Yeah. So. Uh, all right, so next card. Next card. My leader one. Oh, the big, oh boy. The blue big man. Yeah, I don't have any, um, I don't have any holy men type thing or anything, so he's just going to have to... Another uncontrolled volley. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think there's a point in trying to get them under control. I'll burn a flag, though, because I'm, I'm kind of... Pull some extra shock. Yeah, so I'll pull two shock to get these guys. These guys are taking kind of a pounding here, so I'll lower them down to one. So okay. we're at two, three, one. Yeah. So okay. that's... How much shock is that? Five, six? So I yeah. three shots. We'll count up the shots. Yeah. All right, here we go. Needing four straight ahead. Blasting away. <laughs> no, <that one laughs> did. Uh, oh, okay, we'll count them up. Yeah. Seven total hits, so the grouping cover here, I'll put... Uh, so they're uh, taking two. Two shock. I'll put that for you. Two shock, okay. Because right now they don't have anything, right? Nope. No. They're, they're shock free, so these guys are getting two. Uh, so these guys here are going to take four as well. So they're going to take a two, two, shot, two yeah. more. So they're at eight. Wow. Yeah, the holy man did me no favors. That's usual. The standard holy man for tabletops to pee, though, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. And then three for uh, the big man, plain. <laughs> Two more shock and a dead. Nice. Yeah, we're going to shock out here. We're up to the uh, dreaded second dial, <laughs> <laughs> which means there's going to be some falling back here for sure. So we'll see what happens to these guys and count up a shock. All right, so... Clayne's group fell back six, so they're way back here. The other group fell back four, so I have two bad things to draw to roll. Group, two groups obliged to withdraw, and the formation was broken during all that. So I'm going to have to roll three bad things. So let's do our two group obliged to withdrawals first. Okay, another minus one. Oh, uh, yeah, minus one. So there's that, and then formation broken by fire or fisticuffs. That's oh, one, nothing. minus, oh, it's nothing. nothing. Yeah. Well, I needed that because I'm already down to five. Yeah. 
anything but and I would have been I would have been in trouble. Tasty, yeah. Yeah. Well I'm already in trouble. Well, but yeah. anyway. You could have been, been in more trouble. Yeah. I might these guys might go off the board one more volley. Yeah. We're at long range now. Still. Yeah. All it's gonna take is one more shock. Mm. And they're gonna, cause they they're falling back two per excess. Yeah. And they've had two or three excess. Well, those guys have like eight or something. <laughs> or eleven. <laughs> they have they have eleven shots. Yeah, like that. That's that's rough. Okay. So yeah. next card. Next card is a red flag. Okay, that's good. Blue flag. So Blue one flag. more we get. Now it's Tiffin. Tiffin. Yeah. So we both have a flag. And so I have higher force. And movement. two flags. Yeah. Right, so no, I don't have two flags. I have one. I okay. used one for. Uh, Okay, so you'll go. You'll go first. So first off, we're having uh, Bueller's going to just slide down a little bit, mm -hmm. reload and fire at Barksdale. Yep, that's what happens when you leave yourself unloaded, kids. Uh, <laughs> Take the time to reload, boys. Yeah, need fours. Oh, boy, one hit's really bad. One hit. Yeah. No, nothing. nothing. Yeah. All right, so now I have so, one thing, and it's Barksdale. Yeah. <laughs> it's the last thing I have. I got my stupid cannon off the board, who can't, hasn't done nothing. Um, and probably will do nothing. Well. Yeah, I don't see how, because he's going to be pinned in behind all those units. Uh, okay, so Barksdale. Barksdale just, well, he made it over the fence barely and turned around. That was his whole move. <laughs> He still got a lot of shock. How many shock did he have on him? Six. Six shock. But he's got four dudes there, so. He's got Delilah, too. He's got Delilah. Does she count for shock purposes? No. Oh. <laughs> she's there against her will. I doubt she's going to help out in any way. Yeah, she's going <laughs> to kick you guys in the shins before. <laughs> yes. Extra shock. Yeah. So. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, my leader three, which is... Bueller. Bueller oh, again. okay. That's the Zwab skirmishers over there. All right, Bueller's over the fence. So he's finally bit the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> and he's uh, reloaded and moved and moved and we're so now he's where he wants to be mm -hmm. loaded and nothing but open yeah. ground in front of him four flags will come out so yeah uh, so right. next, uh, next red card. flag okay. okay not the color i wanted but oh go uh, two flags in a row here oh my leader one came oh out. man i didn't want to see that yeah uh, this could be it because if, yeah. i mean just a couple more shock here and they're screwed. So we'll drop a shock off these dudes here. Okay. He's so a level. He's only level two. Okay. And then we'll just fire again. All right. So another uncontrolled volley straight ahead. And am I hitting? Is it still getting fours? Yeah, because this guys? is the closest. No. Yeah, they're in your arc and the closest. I see. Um, yeah. So then that's going to be. I got. I need a minute to count up. Yeah, no problem. Guy. Nineteen shots straight ahead from the Zwabs. Maybe fours. Maybe fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hits. Again, it's the same thing as last time. Eleven hits, so four, eight, eleven. So we'll put four on the guys here in, in cover. Sure, yeah. The dead, dead shock. shock. Okay. Then I guess we'll put four onto these guys here. That's this another shock, that's not good. And three onto uh, Major Dan's boys. Oh no, a dead and a shock. Okay, so a dead. So we're at 12. Okay, we'll sort this out here. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Dan and his boys ran off. They're, uh, they left the battlefield. Both of them reached the distance they needed to reach the board edge with all the shock they had. Um, so, and a bunch of bad things. So we got two groups obliged to withdraw. That's a minus one. Four. We have a Formation four main. Broken. That was already broken, though. Oh, okay. Uh, but we do have a status three liter routes off table, which was Major Dan. That's yeah. Minus three. Minus three. Oh my God. Status three. Um. Yeah. All right. A lot of three routes. Four yeah. Oh, wow. That's gonna take me to one. Um. Is that all? I think that's it. Because right. you're already broken. I was already broke. Formation was already broken. And the group is just obliged to withdraw off. Oh, no, but we rolled two group breaks for... We rolled the group breaks for that one. So we said if they reach the table by involuntary withdrawal, they're considered broken. Well, and the rules... So if people can clarify. And the rules, it just says if, a, if you're forced to withdraw, it counts as being... 
if you if you're forced to withdraw off the edge, you count as being routed. But then it doesn't say, you know. Yeah. Well, it hardly matters. At one force morale, I'm probably just gonna call it anyway. <laughs> well, I, just, I didn't even get Delilah, so. It's, what are you at? Eleven still. I'm still eleven. <laughs> but I mean, like in terms of like the actual mission, I didn't no, accomplish yeah, yeah. my mission. You probably won't, but no, I don't think so. I'd have to hope they would draw and just leave her, right? Um, yeah, well, maybe she'll break off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, well, let me think about what we're gonna do here. Yeah. So Major Dan ran off. The rest of his guys, seeing that, uh, lost their nerve and they ran off too. So sadly, Wallace and the cannon never made it on. That was my first mistake was bringing the cannon. I should have made Wallace a skirmisher. Um, never leave home without two groups of skirmishers. That's just, you know, sharp practice 101 for me is you got to have a skirmisher on every each flank, no matter what. And I knew it was going to be problems if I didn't, but I wanted to bring the cannon. Especially got upgraded to a medium gun. It's got like a 24-inch canister range. It just I should have brought it in when I had the chance. But anyway, I wound up getting flanked. So I had guys shooting at me from this way, I had guys shooting at me from this way. I didn't have enough guys to go both. So pretty much I got uh, outflanked and routed off the table. We'll say Delilah, they just are tired of struggling with her. They're running off and leaving her. She's going to rejoin the, uh, the Union forces and it's game over. So yeah, my force morale just went down like a Tanks. rock. <laughs> Well, when you have, yeah, I mean, if I would have, my starting point was over there, I would have been a lot, a lot better off. I could have started moving up. Um, or even if you, instead of the holy man musician combo and upgrading, if you had just purchased a secondary deployment. Yeah, I should have brought a secondary that out really here. Helped you. Yeah, and I could have put a force out there. Yeah, because then I, then I've been, the deployment becomes rougher. But when I saw you get crammed there, I was like. I had a, like one or two turns where I'm like, he, he has to roll an amazing wheel just to face the right way. And I did. I mean? he <laughs> I did. did. I rolled a double six on that wheel. You did. But then those guys kind of yeah. started falling apart. and then. Well, then the long-ass ranges, even with the shortened rifle musket ranges, he was still hitting everything. Yeah, on fours and um, fives, which is pretty good. And when you have one group facing the wrong way, and they're taking double shock. and yeah. Well, those, actually putting those guys in there kind of messed up that main formation. Because I would have been hitting on fives if they weren't so close. Yeah, having them in the arc yeah. made it a lot easier for them to hit. Because if, if they weren't there, then I'm hitting on fives, probably less likely to get so much shot. But yeah. those side shots really kind of oh, screwed you. They kill you. They're, yeah. they're the worst thing, The worst thing that can happen to you in this game is getting double shot from the flank or the rear. And those guys that you broke off were just in trouble on both sides because they were getting hit here yeah. and there and then double shot here. And then if they turn around, double shot there, like... Yeah, and if there's no skirmishers securing your flank, no. there's just you're, there's nothing you can do. You can't be everywhere at once with the formation. No. So I didn't. You, I didn't want to take. I was gonna take a cannon as well, but then I saw Travis had one, and I just wanted to mix it up so we didn't have the exact same. Yeah. Force, so. I just wanted to bring something different, yeah. but and the yeah. the cab were I, I maneuvering no, on horses is really hard. Yeah, especially in so, a, with all the fences and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So but they did really. They might be the MVP. They did. They routed a group off the table and then started shooting you in the side. So yeah, these yeah. guys they had like two turns right in the beginning. And yeah, they never they yeah. never did anything again. No, nope. so. so Morris never could get his boys under control. No, they got. They They're still, still shooting. They still think Delilah's in there. <laughs> <laughs> they're just eventually they're gonna notice. Hey, the everyone's battle's gonna, over. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can stop shooting. They'll just run out of ammo. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, okay, we can stop shooting now. Where'd everyone go? Yeah. <laughs> it's over. So anyway, yeah, the Zouabs, uh they won. Yeah, it was a it was a rough deployment for the for the rebels over here just because yeah trying to cramp everybody in here over this there. This side probably right. would have been better for you because mine was over there, yours yeah. is here. That's way it more would, space for you to have. It would have been way better to yeah, be over there, for sure. When I saw you were going to be there, I was like, okay, at least. <laughs> well, I knew that I, I could at least come and call them up to like this fence line, right, because of the woods and stuff. Yeah, I was hoping to get skirmishers to block line of sight but i didn't really a skirmish screen yeah because yeah. i like i i like to play kind of aggressively so i like staying in column just because you see how annoying it is to move in line in this game so yeah move as quick as you can especially with all the fences yeah. around the fences really screw up your yeah movement in this so 
Did you know there was a lot of fences in the Civil War? When you're in the towns, but... <laughs> We're in the town. Yeah. Birdville re- Gap. Some, some of this, no, no, this makes sense, but, like, I was reading more about, like, you know, a lot of the places you fight are just... Like, we should probably make one where it's just, like, a lot of woodland, you know? Not too many fences, just yeah. woods, a lot oh, of yeah. visibility a little bit. Yeah, oh, that that's def- ACW gaming, that's uh, a must-have is line of sight blocking terrain. Yeah, for sure. And we lowered the ranges, too, lowered to the ranges. 36, so not that it mattered in this thing. So. Now we're already so close anyway, it barely even came into play. We've played a few with the OG 48 range, and I remember, like, I was, <laughs> yeah, like, having right. to attack from over here, and you're, like, over here, and I'm like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was hitting you, yeah, I was just, you know, you start off, you, you yeah. need to go, just get on your deployment point, and you never leave. You, call them, yeah. <laughs> you just stay there and blast. Yeah. You can't move forward anymore because you know, all the shock starts adding up, and you need those skirmish screens. And even then, getting the plus one to hit for columns is rough. So yeah. But anyway, yeah, good job to the Zouaves. Uh They've freed Delilah. Yeah. They're taking her back to the general's tent, and they're gonna get an extra ration of bourbon. Oh, yeah. They found a bottle or a barrel yeah. laying on the ground right here. I think Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> Tennessee whiskey. Yeah. So anyway, thanks to Johnny for coming over. Thanks yeah. to all the guys that were, were here on the live stream. And uh, yeah, it was a fun game. Always a fun game with sharp practice. So as usual, check out our social media stuff. Patreon. Uh, if you want to support the channel, we got Twitter, we got the Facebook, Instagram. And uh, let us know what you guys think. And as usual, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.